Well, if you're just tuning in, our guest right now is Dr. Amnir al Aruj, who is a consultant uh, diabetologist at the Desman Institute for Research, uh, Training, and Prevention of Diabetes and Other Chronic Diseases. And uh, Dr. Amnir, before we went to that uh, break, uh, we were talking a little bit about the uh, treatment for diabetics. Yes. Uh, continue with uh, your yeah. discussion on uh, that. So uh, we say that insulin is for the treatment of type 1. Now uh -huh. for type 2, which affect uh, adult uh, population, uh, the, f the first line of a treatment or the cornerstone of treatment is just to reduce their weight if they are overweight, mm -hmm. to control their diet, and healthy diet, and to increase their exercise. If this three measurement did not reduce their sugar, then there is different type of uh, tablets or oral therapy which we can try with them. And this therapy either to uh, facilitate the pancreas to produce more insulin mm -hmm. or to activate the uh, uh, insulin which is already in the body. Okay. And uh, most of the people will do well with those tablets. But again, some people with type 2 diabetes, we, they may end with insulin therapy. So type is 2 is a little more severe, correct? Correct? It's not severe. There is no severe or not severe. Diabetes is diabetes. Mm -hmm. But type 2 is different from type 1. Mm -hmm. the, type 1, they don't have insulin completely in their body. Okay. But type 2, they have their own insulin, but either it is very weak or very less. Mm -hmm. And uh, 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 type 2, they are mainly associated with obesity and overweight. Mm -hmm. And that's why if you weigh, we reduce their weight, control their diet, most of them, their response and their sugar will reduce and become okay but if this measure is is, is not uh, controlling their sugar we add some tablets or we may we may also end with insulin okay uh, any new treatments on the way well, uh, without uh, some of the injections or tablets yeah. anything that we can uh, uh, share with our audience tonight yeah for insulin of course they are taken by injection but mm -hmm. nowadays there is some other modalities like insulin bump which is it's also injection, but not daily injection. Okay. They fix the bump and they can change the needle every three days sure. or four days. But uh, the the, uh, the question which is always asked if is there is any cure for diabetes? Yes. Well, I, unfortunately, I mean, till now there is no cure that can cut diabetes. And they said, and we can say that you are you don't have diabetes anymore, and mm -hmm. you will not take any any medication. But at least we have insulin. We mm -hmm. have a treatment. We mm -hmm. have uh, something which can. Uh, 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 control our diabetes if we follow all the instruction. Uh, uh, they are working now on uh, uh, um, transplant uh, islet cell, which is the cells that introduce the insulin in the body. Okay. Uh, uh, but it is still in the experimental uh, Stage, phase, yeah? and uh, yeah, they, they, we don't call people to do it now. But it's still experimental, although it is very promising. But it is still we can call it a, an experimental. Okay. Well, hopefully, some more of these. Uh new treatment methods to will, alleviate inshallah. some of these injections that some of the patients take. Uh, hopefully that yeah. can help in the inshallah, future. Inshallah, this is the hope. Inshallah, we hope that. And now uh, we touched on a little bit uh, the Desman Institute earlier on at our interview. Can you tell us about some of the services that are provided for the public at the uh, Desman Institute, Dr. Uh, Amira? At present now, we are doing, you know, the, the clinic. We have uh, uh, the pediatric or the children clinic. We have the adult clinic. There is ophthalmic clinic for the eye. There is neurology clinic. Uh, all the surface foot clinic. This is the clinical surfaces. Mm -hmm. But the most important thing that we are doing now the education, yes. which is we uh, la we lack this surface in our uh, uh, I mean uh, Ministry of Health and in our uh, hospitals. Yes. So we are doing it in 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 this man. Now we had. Uh, 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 workshops for uh, children with diabetes and mm -hmm. this is uh, always do uh, we did it uh, during the holidays because we cannot call them in the in the uh, sure. uh, morning so uh, in, the, in the in the summer holiday or even in the uh, mid-year holiday we uh, call uh, the children with diabetes uh, 20 or 30 kids with their family and for three days at the center from morning till two o'clock and we just give them and teach them all about uh, uh, diabetes and uh, the other things also we do uh, workshops for adults with diabetes and we call both uh, uh, men uh, 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 ladies and uh, patient with diabetes and again three days uh, to do uh, the workshop for them and they all like it very much and in addition to that we have also once or twice weekly the healthy kitchen we have our chief who is doing uh, the the, the uh, uh, healthy diet we call either 12 or 14 ladies who are interested to attend these sessions. 
Well, here we are taking uh, D Dr. Munir a look at some of these pictures oh. right here. Uh, uh, tell us about oh. this picture. I think this See, is a big dignitary in the diabetes yeah. world. Uh, this is, uh, you know, last, uh, not last year, in the year uh, two, uh, 2007, when the United Nations adopted the World Diabetes Day. Mm -hmm. And they had their uh, very uh, important and historical resolution on diabetes in the United Nations, which is the resolution 225 over 61. What is this? Uh, this is the resolution that uh, the, uh, the United Nations consider diabetes as a cr uh, very serious disease, mm -hmm. with, uh, which put a great burden on the uh, uh, nations, countries, families, and, and, and even individual. And it uh, uh, asked all the members in the United Nations to celebrate uh, or to take all the strategies and the plan uh, to prevent or to make uh, uh, plans for prevention of diabetes and they have to com uh, com uh, they have to do the commitment for for this all the nations so like an international plan international plan to to uh, uh, stop diabetes or to prevent diabetes and uh, that uh, the world diabetes day which was previously celebrated by the uh, association is now it is for the celebration by the government and the Ministry of Health and by the, the so in that year they invite 1,000 uh, people from all over the world uh -huh. unfortunately uh, uh, I was one uh, of yes, them you, you're there. very proud and there with <laughs> the Kuwaiti flag uh, this is in the Kuwaiti because we cannot it is not um, uh, allowed very, to take uh, much filming yeah, yes yeah because we cannot take our camera inside the hall in the United sure. Nations and that year we celebrated there for the first time and since then the World Diabetes Day celebrated by the United Nations. Excellent. And this photo was there. Also, we do. Uh, 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 um, Looks like it's raining buried, there. Yeah, it was very. Uh, very cold, uh, too. Yeah, it uh, was very uh, cold. It Dr. Was Abdullah bin Nikhi yeah, also there. Yeah, we are the only two from uh, the, area? the Gulf and the area and the Middle East. Who were at uh, this big meeting? This, uh, big meeting, yes. And uh, the gentleman that was in the first uh, picture, the, who yeah, was that, he? Yeah, the president of the International Diabetes Federation. Okay, well, it must have been an honor to. Uh, meet yeah, with him and discuss is, uh, all is, the latest with yeah, diabetes. We, are, we were honored that we are invited to attend this very sure. uh, important activity because this resolution, it was like historical resolution because there was never a resolution on a disease, chronic disease in the United Nations except there was one before 40 or 50 years on malaria. Mm -hmm. Malaria which is a communic uh, communicable disease, it is not a chronic disease like diabetes. Mm -hmm. So we are very happy that they have this resolution in diabetes. And hopefully this resolution and with the work of yourself and all the special at the Desman Inshallah. Institute, uh, uh, diabetes uh, can at least uh, be brought down to a lower number. Inshallah. And uh, there's a conference coming up, a big conference on yes. Monday, November 16th. The Desman Institute will have mm. a uh, conference, three-day conference yeah. uh, entitled The Approaches uh, to Preventing Prevent. Chronic Diseases. Uh, tell us briefly yeah. about that, yes. please. Yes, this is a conference of three days. It will start on the 16th Monday. Uh, it will be uh, morning. It will be for uh, discussing our plans in the Center for f for Future Research. But the afternoon, it is uh, open for our uh, colleague, and it will be from four to eight. Mm -hmm. And this, there we, we we will have there about uh, uh, 13 uh, international speakers coming to talk about different uh, 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 aspect of the diabetes and other chronic diseases and also in addition to our local speaker from Kuwait and uh, I hope from here I call all my colleague in the Ministry of Health to attend this important uh, meeting and it also have uh, a point uh, uh, for the continuous medical educations we have 9.5 point in this Congress okay so they can get some credit for yes, that of course, yes. well very good and we yes. wish you all the best of luck you Thank and your you, colleagues Dr. Amnira with this uh, international conference coming up Inshallah. and all your uh, fine work at the Desman Institute. At Inshallah. the end of our interview this evening, do you have any last comments for the audience watching in Kuwait or wherever they've been watching around yeah. the world uh, about diabetes? Uh, yeah, I just want to say that diabetes if you, uh, I mean, it is not, it, it, is, uh, it is a disease, it's a serious disease, but if we control it and if we follow the instruction, we can live a normal, healthy life. And this complication that we hear about, the director tell us about, that you have eye problem, kidney problem, other problem, we can uh, simply delay it or even prevent it if we take our medication at the time, do our testing every day as 
what at we advised by the doctor follow a good healthy diet follow a good exercise we can live a simple a, a normal healthy life like others who are not uh, affected by diabetes very well said uh, dr amnira and thank you so much for joining mm -hmm. us i know you're as we said at the top of our interview so busy with the you've uh, been so busy with World Diabetes Day. We appreciate your time right here on the weekend no, show. Thank you very much. It's my pleasure to be here with you.